what was that? I think it was We Three Kings. Sounds something like that. That was an arrangement that Maranatha put together of We Three Kings, and it's really fun to play. Yay! Very um, Middle Eastern flair. And I wore my uh, tacky llama Christmas sweater for the occasion with the heart candy cane leggings. And we've got the Christmas sloth Christmas leggings. sloth. <gasps> Merry Christmas, Early. Oh, we're gonna ignore that. Telephone. So I have a poem I wanna share with you today. This one is called The Christmas Easter Phenomenon. I dedicate this poem to all the keisters out there, those people who show up at church on Christmas and Easter. John 1, 12 says this. It says, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Jesus wants a real relationship with you every single day of the year, not just on Christmas and Easter only. So here it is, the Christmas Easter phenomenon. Celebrate something, it's just the thing to do. Holiday Christianity, they flock in from Timbuktu, grace him with their presence once a year, maybe two. The Christmas Easter phenomenon. Religion without a clue, just warming a pew. You see, Jesus is the reason that we celebrate these days. On Christmas, he was born. On Easter, we were saved, not by works or deeds we've done or church and holidays, but by giving our lives to the Savior who through these holy days paved the way to a life of liberty for humanity who was lost, sifting through Santas and bunnies, manger scenes and crosses. Funny, Jesus never meant to be a twice a year tradition but a life-changing, people-relating, world-saving, fully God, fully man link to everlasting life. Celebrate Jesus all year round and live. Amen. Merry Christmas. May you meet with Jesus this Advent season in such a special way as you prepare your hearts for Christmas. It's coming. Best present of all. Amen. We're going to play a little set of tunes that I wrote after going on a trip to Israel with Noah and some other friends of ours. And it's the beautiful Sea of Galilee, wandering the streets of Jerusalem, or Alex, we're going in circles, because our friend Alex was showing us around Jerusalem, even though it was his first time in Jerusalem. And we unintentionally saw the same things more than once, but it was very fun anyway. And the last tune is a deal for stupid, because there was a shopkeeper in the old market who thought he could get me to buy something uh, from him. I wasn't interested in anything he was selling. In fact, I was just stuck behind my friends, waiting for them to move along. And uh, finally they move along and then the shopkeeper sees me. Oh no. And I said, no, thank you. I'm not interested. But he kept calling after me and saying, hey you, I make deal for you. And I said, no, thank you, I'm not interested. Like I really wasn't even looking at anything he was selling. And I'm walking away and then he keeps yelling, hey you, come back here, I make deal for you. And then finally he yells, hey you, stupid, come back here, I make deal for you. So this is a deal for stupid. I didn't actually go back there or buy anything from him, but I wrote him this tune. So maybe I'll, I'll have to find him and play it for him or something, or not. Probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, here's the beautiful Sea of Galilee. <laughs>
newly released this year CD, Through the Wood Laddie. Check it out if you haven't yet. We hope you have a fabulous day and Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas early.